Hello, Tim, Kwong, and John. Um, I was doing a little, uh, I was actually just setting up some walkie-talkies for my uh, daughter and her friend to play with um, from our camping gear, which is right there, little guys. Anyways, um, I found something pretty interesting, and these are actually, um, these are Midland GXT. They're, they're really good little walkie-talkies, actually, <coughs> for camping. Um, anyways, I was setting them up, and I took it off the charger, and it was right next to my Keurig, which if you guys can read that, it says, ready to brew. And as soon as I turn on one of them, okay, so it turns on, it's on channel eight. As soon as I press this button, you'll see that the Keurig is going to um, do some kind of electrical thing and then say it's ready for coffee or not ready for coffee. Here it goes. See how it says not ready? So somehow this is causing electrical interference to this, causes it to click over, and uh, I can duplicate it. See that? Not ready. And then it'll come back ready to brew, and I can press it again. No, not ready. So I guess it's not too uncommon that walkie-talkies can have an electrical interference, and I just thought you guys might find that that was interesting. Here, I'm gonna press it one last time. Pretty interesting, huh? Not ready. Okay, guys. Uh, have a good evening. Bye-bye.